Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something special in store for you, a deep dive into the controversial TV series, The Idol. Now, if you thought Velma was a wild ride, just wait until you hear about this one. 1. Character Depth and Development The speaker starts by critiquing the character of Jocelyn, the main character in the show. They argue that Jocelyn's character lacks depth and substance. Her entire identity seems to revolve around her traumatic experiences, specifically the loss of her mother. This portrayal reduces her character to a one-dimensional vessel for trauma. The speaker raises a concern about the common trend in modern television, where characters' trauma becomes the central focus of their identity. They argue that this approach can be overly simplistic and uninteresting. 2. Attempted edginess A major criticism throughout the review is the show's attempt to be edgy and provocative. The speaker believes that the show's edginess often feels forced and contrived rather than organic or thought-provoking. They cite examples, such as the scene with the intimacy coordinator, as well as the hairbrush incident. In these instances, the show tries to tackle controversial or shocking themes, but it comes across as tone-deaf and lacking depth. The speaker compares this forced edginess to other shows like Velma and Euphoria, suggesting that The Idol is trying too hard to shock its audience without a meaningful payoff. 3. Character of Tedros The character of Tedros, a charismatic cult leader, is also criticized. The speaker contends that the show fails to make Tedros an alluring or convincing character, Instead, he appears awkward and unconvincing as a charismatic figure. They point out that Tedros is not as appealing as the show seems to want him to be, and his character is not as convincing as it should be. 4. Themes and Execution The speaker questions the themes explored in the show, particularly the portrayal of trauma and the use of trauma for shock value. They argue that there is a significant difference between a real person experiencing trauma and a fictional character whose traumatic experiences are chosen by a committee of writers and producers.